The NYU's application portal had asked me to use my own voice in this video. But I should ask myself, can I consider this machinery TTS as part of my voice, as what it generates should signify what I think, and how it synthesizes should deliver a more powerful impression than my own voice. In this sense, in an age of technological disruption, can I expand the definition of voice beyond its physical existence as a broad concept containing a spiritual property? This question is one of the topics discussed in Metaverse, where an imaginary character should sometimes represent myself better than the real-world identity. Moreover, this statement also contradicts the traditional Descartian plateau of clear and distinct concepts, as the uniqueness of subjectivity will be consequently falsified from a phenomenological perspective. Thus, an opposition of the Descartian domain was the point where I departed from traditional engineering, the point where I discovered a strong motivation of becoming a new media artist. I have three main goals throughout the IDM program. First is to enhance my technical programming skills and learn new frameworks in the broad field of 3D and XR. Second is to collaborate on various research projects, notably with Professor Tiger Brain, Luke Dubois and Carla Gannis. Third is to continuously evolve my philosophical standpoint on top of the influences from Nietzsche, Dostoevsky and Warhol, and blend it with artistic practices. These intensive two years would help me to grow up as a professional computational artist, but moreover, give me an opportunity to communicate on where I think humanity should be heading for the next following decades.